Now, it's been two months since I had this particular drone, uh, the DJI Mini 2. And I thought, you know, this would be a good time to be able to talk about my experiences as well. Although I did do a review uh, of this particular drone a couple of weeks ago when I posted it out into YouTube. Let me try and share with you my thoughts and views about this drone. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Fletch and today I'd like to talk to you about the DJI Mini 2, which is this drone here. Now, I know that uh, in the previous video that I did uh, was a preliminary review of the drone that I have used, but over the cu past couple of weeks that I've had it and I've flown it a couple of times, I've also noticed a couple of things from the initial firmware that I had up to the latest one that I have updated to and, and how it performed in the various uh, scenarios. I've taken a couple of videos that I'd like to show you all about uh, and, and then point out some of the issues that I have noticed. Uh, not too sure whether it is about the drone itself or it could be related to the firmware. I took it out to a parking lot which had a nice rooftop which I showed in the last video and what it was, it was, a, it was a nice spot. It had a, a great vantage point of all the various interesting places that were there. So I took off and did a little flight and, and to see, number one, the video quality, the flight quality, and of course, how stable it was in winds. Now, if you notice in the last video that I did, you can actually see that there was some wind and probably there were some more gusts of wind as I got higher as well. One of the things I noticed, and this has been shown a lot in forums and Facebook groups and so forth, where they talk about the last particular firmware, uh, which I'll put up here. And this particular firmware, which is the one that I updated to for, for that particular flight, had certain issues. One of the issues was one, stability. They were saying that there were times when they took off and the drone either lost connection or worse still, literally fell out of the sky. I, I admit that when I flew, I did notice there were some connectivity issues, but I never lost connection altogether. There was some stuttering. It was as if there was some interference, but of course, obviously I'm in a high urban area and there was a lot of Wi-Fi signals and everything else, although they, although this is supposed to be OcuSync 2. The quality of the, the signal was supposed to be much better, but obviously that if there is interference, there will be interference, whether it's magnetic or Wi-Fi. And then there's a lot of metal which affects the magnetic stability or connectivity of the particular drone. Besides the stuttering, there's one thing that I noticed is that initially I thought it was because there was a gust of wind, right? So let me show you a bit of footage here uh, and show you exactly what I mean. If you notice in that particular footage, as I was ascending, you could see it tilt to the right and I had to correct it back because I was trying to get a particular look, a cinematic move in a sense, to be able to nicely have a, a nice reveal and then of course reveal the background which had other very interesting places to look at in a sense. As I was ascending, it jerked or yawed to the right a little bit, so I had to correct it. In fact, I had to do it twice or three times during that particular shot, which messed it up for me. It looked like as if uh, I had little control of what I was doing. I've had several drones before over the past few years that I've flown. They're all basically DJI drones. The first one was called Tello, uh, even though it was by a company called Reese. It basically is owned by DJI a little small, little tiny uh, drone, which helped me understand a little bit about controlling it and, and so forth. It was a little toy drone. And then I moved up to the Spark, which had better controls. 
and then finally to the Mavic 2 Zoom, which had a professional, well, almost a professional camera because it doesn't have the one inch sensor that the, the Pro has, but still quality videos and quality pictures you could get from it. Then of course, as I explained in my other video, I decided to get the DJI Mavic Mini, which was the first iteration of the drone that I just flew. One of the major reasons why I got that is because it's small, it's compact, it could fit into my luggage. You know, luggage is a premium for us motorcyclists. So we have to be concerned about that. You know, the, the, the balance between having enough clothes and underwear. <laughs> and having to be able to get great shots and videos of the trip that we are going on. Uh, now, of course, when I flew it, I had a lot of reservations because uh, I couldn't really go that very far, 100 meters maximum, 200 before I start getting connectivity issues. If there was a gust of wind, you could see it getting jockeyed around or worse still blown off, which was very scary for me. I mean, it was not a cheap drone. I still have it, uh, you know, it's still in working condition. I'll probably use it for simple stuff, but when it comes to stability and everything else, I wanted something else. So when the new DJI Mini 2 came out, I went ahead and bit the bullet and got it. And true, true enough, it was a much more stable drone. There were gusts of winds, there were a lot of interferences, but it didn't affect the drone as much as it did for the other original Mini. I was thinking that what was the reason for the sudden yaw or the sudden jerk in the footage? Could it be because even though no matter what DJI claims, it is basically still a very light drone. It's 239 grams, as I mentioned. It's 239 now, so it's even lighter still. But they claim they have stronger motors to be able to handle level five winds, gusts of about 30 kilometers an hour. I thought that those claims of DJI were not true, in a sense. That could be it. But when I went back, and, and I've been reading a lot, uh, I've been getting notifications anyway for, for the uh, Facebook uh, groups for the Mavic Mini 2 and forums and, and YouTube videos and everything else and and the blame was could be placed upon the firmware that was at the time that I flew that particular drone. As of the 1st of January, New Year's Day, Happy New Year by the way, they released a new firmware uh, and basically corrected or claimed to have corrected this particular problem, the, uh, give it more stability and, and improve the signals and so forth. Uh, I have yet to fly, in fact, I was planning to go uh, and fly uh, the drone again after I updated to the latest version and again I put the new version up here. And obviously the weather has turned bad in the beginning of January and it started raining cats and dogs and that's probably uh, like our winter I suppose. The monsoon season has come pretty late. But what I'll do is when I have the opportunity, I'll go ahead uh, and fly again and see if I can replicate the, the issues or if the issues show up again in the DJI Mini 2. Uh, now, what I'd like to leave you with is again to show you how it's important to be able to have get this drone as a motor vlogger to be able to show you different perspectives and since I've been doing a lot of video acting as a tour guide let me give you an aerial view and tour uh, of the Marina Bay area and I'd like to leave you with that uh, so once again don't forget to click on the like button if you haven't yet and if you haven't yet as well please do click on the subscribe button and of course don't forget to click on the notification bell to let you know when my next video is out thank you very much for watching let me just leave off with this particular aerial view and tour of the place i have marked out all the various interesting places within that particular flight so you can take a look at that once again thank you very much and i do hope you enjoy this video